A lot of today's technology is sleek and elegant with a smooth, solid state interface. But without texture, like those little nubby keys, you have to look at what you're doing. There's no feel to anything, and that's not good. So the scientists at Immersion Corporation in San Jose are developing a new generation of touchy tech. Haptic means touch, right? Yes, haptic refers to the sense of touch. It comes from the Greek haptin. Reaching, touching. We can see, we can hear, we can touch. Yeah. So when you're thinking about the computers, touch is dramatically missing. Yeah. And it's so profound. It's the first sense in your life, and it's probably the last one. All very deep, but certainly true. The more senses we can use when we communicate, the better. From a tactile standpoint, a touchscreen is literally dead. When I'm typing on the keyboard, I'm used to the sensation to confirm that I pressed the key. With a touchscreen, you don't have that anymore. Yeah. So Christoph and his colleagues have brought physical sensation to the standard touchscreen. Lizard skins. Ooh. Smoother. Rough. Really rough. Ew. It's a little Actually, weird to put your hand on a flat screen and feel textures where there aren't any. Ooh. But haptic technology is something we may soon take for granted. Two-dimensional LCD screens will deliver a very three-dimensional kick. For example. Now what if you don't have your dice with you, but you still wanted to roll a few for whatever reason? Well, you probably have your mobile phone, virtual dice. But not only do you see them, you can feel them. As I shake the phone, there is the distinct physical sensation of the dice knocking against the side of the screen. The combination of sound and touch creates the authentic feel of dice banging around inside a cup. So what's the secret behind this idea? Here's a haptic sampler board. Different buttons represent different amounts of force. Each one of these triggers an eccentric rotating motor. Yes, eccentric, ECC, because it's a little off. And that imbalance gives the sense of vibration that you feel. Here's one, it's very subtle. This is the chip that powers it all, and that chip can fit in all sorts of device sizes. An eccentric motor installed behind a screen powers a vibration on the glass or plastic surface, imparting a physical sensation. Depending on the size and speed of the ECC motor's movements, it can replicate different textures and surfaces like wood, wool, or metal. Multiple motors behind a screen create a vibrational pattern which mimics the texture and feel of whatever the screen displays. But the future gets a lot smaller. This is a piezoelectric actuator. Look how small and thin that is. You're already starting to see these in today's netbooks and laptops, future versions of the Kindle, and pretty much anything with a screen is likely to have something this size in it. Like many technologies, one of the first places they show up is in gaming. This prototype game is one of the first haptic laptops ever invented, and I get to try it out before it hits the showroom. Sweet. Woo! It's got a touch screen and haptic technology, which lets me feel the ball bumping against the edge, all that rumbling when it hits the magic spots on the board. Oh, boy. But haptics are not just the future of fun and gaming. More immersive connections could have an impact on how surgeons learn to do their jobs. You have to grab the little pill on okay. the floor and put it in a hole that is indicated on the screen using these two devices called laparoscope okay. and the endoscope being the camera. Please. I just grab these? Yeah, you just grab the tools. And you will notice that they move inversely to the parts you are handling. And actually, you can feel the tools. They're hitting each other. <laughs> but of course, they don't exist. That's right, because there's like a computer in there. That's correct. It feels like I'm holding and moving something solid, even though it's only an image. Man. Well, I can feel it scraping right on the corner. All right. Man. So we have a physical simulation running in the background, and yeah. it's going to give you the right graphics and haptics. Snip, snip. Let me try to pick up this pill. I'm like a really good fake doctor. Is that it? Ah, oh. okay, I spoke too soon. <laughs> Maybe. Yes, yeah, good. Just let it go now.
I have the remarkable sensation that I'm moving something physical through space. Oh, In. Fantastic. <laughs> Great. Nice. But this is not the only level of cyber surgery the immersion team has designed. Suturing an intestine shut while experiencing the actual sensation of the needle moving in and out of digital flesh. It's an amazing demonstration of all the technology Immersion is working on. Christoph and his team are really feeling it. Our computer user experience has been dominated by sight and sound, but what about touch? When it comes to that sense, we're basically reduced to buttons, and let's face it, buttons alone are kind of lame. But what if you could experience the texture of an orange, the wetness of water, the presence of a nearby friend? In the future, haptic technology will allow us to connect more naturally to our apps and devices and give us a closer, more emotional connection to each other.